Okay, so let us create another hosting accounts. So let us create account. Click this one. Then uh, for the step one again, let us create a subdomain account. All right. So don't forget always to save all the credentials that you might create it. Right. So at this time, I would like to create the Tony 2022 sample page to and the domain extension is infinityfreeapp.com. Check the uh, availability. The domain Tony 2022 sample page to .com is available. So let us uh, proceed to the step two, enter the additional information. All right, so let us uh, adjust the account label. So you can also modify this one. Uh, in my case, uh, I will not uh, uh, modify. Uh, so let us proceed to the account name. So generated automatically. Then for the password. So. Let us create our password. Alright. So you can just uh, copy and paste. Uh, I'm not a robot. Alright. If everything is filled up, so let us proceed to the uh, create account button. Your account has been created with, with username. All right. So at this moment, again, click Open Control Panel for the host, hosting account name. Uh, is one. So always don't forget to save. approve thanks all right all right so let's go back again as you can see the hosting account is already active so let us go back the accounts all right so for the accounts I have now two accounts all right next one another one so let us uh, create again another another account we have uh, or we can create in the maximum of three accounts or hosting accounts in one infinity three account with one email so create account again. Alright, so for the next uh, label is uh, just simply change the uh, last number into 3. Tony2022 sample page 3 and the domain extension is infinity 3. So, I will not change this one. Date availability. Alright. The system. Uh, the domain to need 22 sample page 3 and pdt 3.com is available. So, again, it has modified this one. Then save. Always. Then account username is uh, generated automatically. Password. Again. Alright. So I'm not a robot. Alright. And proceed to the create account. Alright. 
your account has been created with username okay save this one right then control panel so let us activate approve thanks the panel will uh, arrive so that's it then finish this one and let's go back to the accounts app.infinityfree.net slash accounts so as you can see we have three accounts with 2022 sample page one two three with different uh, okay you have reached the limit of three hosting accounts so need more website type in hosting so uh, we can now access the control panel of each of these hosting accounts so let's try control panel so close this one all right control panel four uh, for three two eight fifty nine six eight. All right. So we can access our online file manager where you, where we can upload our files later. The next one is uh, ten sixty eight. All right. Ten sixty eight. Control panel. All right. So this is at 1068, the last four, four digits of our account. All right. So we can still uh, access our online file manager. All right. This one. Next is the 1075. The hosting account. Then control panel, check the online file manager. So, alright, so this is it. So, three different control panels. So, we can uh, change this one by importing some of the uh, website files like WordPress. Also, we can uh, access the uh, the uh, PHP admin. So we can manipulate the uh, databases of our uh, of each of of each of our uh, databases. Okay. And every uh, hosting account so for 1075 for 1068 then for uh, 0968 so that's it for now so this is how uh, we can create multiple accounts in or multiple hosting accounts in infinity free with one email address so thanks for now and have a nice day